Hello there, and welcome to Rugey Trent Valley Railway Station, which we're only here to change trains because we're coming off the 0653 off Rugey Town Railway Station, which was worked by Class 350 to 0, 350 106. And we're only here to change trains because we are waiting for the 0709 London Northwestern Railway Service to take us to Crewe. And then beyond Crewe, we're actually going to Lancashire today because we are visiting two railway stations that are not going to be raining for once, which are the following. Euston, Bolshaw Lane. You're just going to have to watch this to find out why I end up here. Kirk and Wesham. If I'm actually going to later than turn round. But the reason we go to these places are because it's absolutely going to be sunny all day. Because the last three blogs, when I went to the Mersey Rail Network, it rained. When I went to the Bristol area, it rained. And we went to the East Midlands Railway Network towards Beeston. Guess what? It rained. But hopefully the rain sh should be going away and it should be nice and sunny. And this is why I'm heading to this network of Lancashire. So we are waiting for the 0709 to take us to Crewe. But once at Crewe though, we've only got an eight minute turnaround or change to get our train to Manchester Piccadilly. So please sit back and enjoy this railway journey as a venture to these two railway stations as I mentioned. Okay, so first of all, we are waiting for the 0709 to arrive. Now, the interesting thing is, it's, it's actually down there somewhere, but it's still down there. It should be arriving about a minute or two ago, but um, I think something's happened down the bottom because that pendolino that just went past was absolutely slowly that went through round the corner towards Trent Valley Railway Station. So I don't know what's happening down the bottom which is not good because, like I mentioned, I've only got an eight-minute connection at Crewe to catch my train to Manchester Piccadilly. If I don't catch that, then I'm waiting half an hour for the next one and I'm going to miss the connections that I've got planned. So, we'll see how this goes, but at the moment, it's not a good start, even though it's nice weather. Now while I figure out a plan, we're at Stafford Station, which is the last calling point of route to Crewe. As we leave Stafford Station, I'll explain the reason for this delay. Now the delay was a signal failure outside Rouge Trent Valley Railway Station, but will this signal failure cost me my change at Crewe? So we're now cruising up the West Coast Bay Line, and to be honest, I've held up a real time train, so this train that I'm on gets into Crewe for 0746. Which only gives me a two minute turnaround to get my train to Manchester Piccadilly. But luckily, though, if I do catch it, it's actually a filthy bugger, a class 319. But I don't know yet because I'm going to have to be at the front of the train, I'm actually coming at the back of the train. So I'm going to have to run from platform 7 to get to platform 1. I think it can be doable, so we might just be able to make it, but it depends on everything you see. So. I'm going to pull into crew now and see if we can try and catch this train. If not, Buckshaw Parkway will be off, but I do have a backup plan just in case. No, it's gone. So now I made the cruise station and unfortunately we did not get the train to Manchester Piccadilly. As I was going up the stairs I heard the doors closing on the 319 and it left without me so that's a real shame. That's rarely that, that happens to be honest, I do miss the connections but apparently there was a signal failure in the route to Trevalier which my train was delayed, that's why it was delayed. So the backup plan is now wait for the 0809 Abanti West Coast service to take me to Wigan North Western. And then Wigan North Western, I'll explain more what I'm going to do beyond Wigan North Western. With 
this new plan I have to make up we depart through on the 809 series to Blackpool North, which is roughly where I'm headed to. But on the way to Wigan North Western we see Warrington Arfley with some wagons and locomotives, but now we made it to the Wigan. So I'm now at Wigan North Western and I'm only here to change trains. This was not planned today because I was planning to go to Manchester Piccadilly from Crewe, but unfortunately I missed that connection. And then from Manchester Piccadilly I was going to be on Manchester Airport to Blackpool North services all day because that dropped on me off at Leighton. But the train that I'm about to catch down to Blackpool North doesn't. So I'm going to have to replan everything. But since I've got a station spare now because Buckshaw Parkway is on the Bolton Corridor, I'm on the West Coast Bay Line. So I can't really go to Buckshaw Parkway now. However though, I do actually have a station available now and I'm going to try this station for the first time. So I waited for the 0905 Northern service to take me to Euxton Bolshaw Lane. So this is my first time at Euxton Bolshaw Lane and that is the correct pronunciation because see at Exton Bolshaw Lane you're going to have the knicker wearing squishy booby yeller what's in the bid checker northern YouTuber get triggered because if you say Exton Bolshaw Lane that is the wrong pronunciation either of the trains actually do say Exton either of the right pronunciation is Euxton Bolshaw Lane but this is my first time being here and to be honest I wasn't expecting to see the fast lines from the railway station. I thought the fence was a bit higher, to be honest, but it is um, wonderful that you can see the fast lines from Euxton Bolshaw Lane railway station. And also, we are standing on the Wigan North Western bound platform, which is right here, and the other platform takes you on to Leyland to Preston. This is Northern Railway Operator Station that has two platforms, and it only fits a four car train as well. Because the train I got off on is a six car, it does not fit at Euxton Bolshaw Lane. But it's just an interesting station. I've never been here before, and this is my very first time at Euxton Bolshaw Lane. And I wasn't expecting this, to be honest. So I'm going to do the station history at Euxton Bolshaw Lane, and then carry on our journey to Kirk and Wesham. The first station at Euxton Bolshaw Lane was opened on the 31st of October 1838 by the North Union Railway called Euxton, close to the Bay Horse Public House, but the station was closed by orders of the Anderton family on the 2nd of September 1895. A new station called Bolshaw Lane Euxton opened by the London Northwestern Railway on the 2nd of September 1905 and was one and a half miles south of the first station. But sadly, this station also closed to passengers on the 6th of October 1969. It wasn't until the 15th of December 1997 when First Northwestern reopened the station but it was called Euxton Bolshaw Lane. And the free letter code for this station is EBA.
So I'm now crashing down in somewhat of this car park at Euston Bolshaw Lane. I've just noticed something interesting on the wall here, which I'm going to spin around now and show you. But there's an old plaque right here, basically telling you when the station was opened by Northwest Trains. I remember them so well, to be honest. This still was open in 1997. It was raining at Euston Bolshaw Lane, but now it stopped, so it was only just a passing shower, but unfortunately the rain did appear, which I was trying to avoid. Now, will I come back to Euston Bolshaw Lane? Absolutely, just indeed, because it is a wonderful station to fill trains out. I've underestimated it, to be honest. I've been trying to avoid this station for the past 10 years, when I've been doing the railway journeys and filming and taking photos, but my first time being here, it's absolutely changed me. I will come back to Euston Bolshaw Lane in the future. Unfortunately, though, it won't be until 2022. So, I'm going to board the 1015 now to Blackpool North, which will take me to Kirk and Wesham, and get out this rain, because it is starting to rain again, unfortunately. And this is what I was trying to avoid. This is the northern service to Blackpool North. The next stop is Mainland. We're now leaving Euston Bolshaw Lane, which is also the station which we first heard those famous two words that we heard from G Loves Trade when she started vlogging on YouTube, Squishy Boobies, before arriving into Preston, but looking at the old platform, which are now out of use. We now leave Preston and divert off the West Coast Bay Line at Preston North Junction and on route to Kirkland and Wesham we pass the station Solwick which only has a few trains calling here. Sadly I could not feel at Solwick on the day that I was filming this. So this is the next station we are visiting when we kind of back on track but we're not. So I'm actually here earlier than planned. This is Kirk and Wesham station. This is the junction station for Blackpool North and Blackpool South, also known as the South Fire Line. But we're not going on the South Fire Line today because we're actually going towards Blackpool North. Now the plan I had, as I mentioned earlier, was from Manchester Piccadilly to stop at Buckshaw Parkway to get to Kirk and Wesham here for 11 o'clock. I've actually got here about 20 minutes earlier than planned. So, my plan now is going to be changing because after I've filled out Kirk and Western Station, I'm going to be moving on to Blackpool North. I'm going to be terminating the blog at Blackpool North and I'm going to start the next blog on Thursday at Blackpool North to do Leighton and Poulton if Isled. Because then I'll be travelling on Hazel Grove trade to Blackpool North and I do have a half an hour turnaround at Blackpool North, so that's what's going to happen. And then as soon as I leave Poulton and Fylde, I should be back on track to head back to Rugeley. That's the plan. But I'll update you at the end of this blog anyway, and the beginning of the next blog with that plan. But Kirk and Wesham, let's talk about it, because it's a Northern Rail operated station that has three platforms. Platform 1 is trains to Blackpool South. Platform 2 is trains to Blackpool North. And Platform 3... It's basically any train that goes to Preston, to be honest. But the only thing that doesn't stop here is the Vanty West Coast sometimes. I think one train a day does, but I don't know if it does at the moment or not because it's pandemic. But sometimes the Vanty West Coast services do stop here. But I think it's about time we do the station's history of Kirk and Western Station. 
and carry on doing some more filming. Kirkham and Westham Station was opened by the Preston Wire Joint Railway on the 16th of July 1840, but the station was built west of the station road and was named Kirkham. In 1890 the station was rebuilt and in 1906 to 1907 it was renamed to Kirkham Westham. In 2017-2018 the station was given major refurbishment as part of the electrification programme which included a third platform. Free that code for this station is KKM. Now, before the electrification at Kirk and Westham, it used to be an island platform, but that island platform used to be just there, platform one and two. Platform three was added during the electrification because these lines right here were actually the track bed of some fast lines that were through here. So there were some services that diverted the station and went straight through Passy Kirk and Westham to get onto Preston or Blackpool North from here. But those tracks are not gone because they built Platform 3 where the tracks used to be. Just see my train in the distance, it is on its way, it's a Northern Class 319. This is going to take us to Blackpool North, and when I get to Blackpool North, I'm going to be talking about today's journey to Blackpool North from Bruji Town Railway Station. And to be honest, there is quite a little bit to talk about, but not much. But also during this time, I do have a 30 minute turnaround because then I'll explain in the next blog what I'll be doing from Blackpool North back to Bruji Town. So our Class 319 filthy buggy will be the 11.40 to Blackpool North which will take us there as soon as it arrives in a second. En route to Blackpool North, we are passing the station which was planned to turn around at Leighton. But the services that I'm on, the Liverpool Live Street and Blackpool North services, don't call at Leighton, which is why I'm heading into Blackpool North, which will get off the train and meet you at the North Pier. So behind me is the North Pier at Blackpool and we are going to talk about today's events getting to Blackpool and not ending at Kirk and Westerman's plans. Because we got the 653 off Rooster Town Railway Station and we ended up at Rooster Tread Valley okay. But then the problem started at Rooster Tread Valley with that signal failure and it got me into crew pretty much late and I missed the connection to Manchester Piccadilly. So the plan was out the window. I had to pay an extra £10 to get from crew to Wigan North Western and then I had about half an hour at Wigan North Western to connect on to a Blackpool North train but then I went to Ex Euxton Bolshaw Lane and it said Exton there, Euxton Bolshaw Lane that station was pretty wonderful to film at and it was the first time there as well that wasn't planned because I was planning to go to Buckshaw Parkway but unfortunately with the problems that happened and the missed by connection crew had to Euxton Bolshaw Lane and that was a brilliant station to film at on the West Coast Bay Line, and that was my first time there, as I mentioned. Then I took a train to Kirk and Westham, had an hour at Kirk and Westham filled with the trains, and then we made it to Blackpool. But I'm not going to be hanging around long because I'm actually leaving on the 1228 to get to Leighton. So I'm only doing this outro quick, and then I've got to rush it back to Blackpool Railway Station to film this first day's vlog and all that. But first day's vlog, we are going to talk about now because we are planning to visit two stations out of Blackpool North, which are the following. Leighton. Polter the file. So if you want to see the return journey go smoother and hopefully no rain as well, 
feel free to give this a thumbs up feel free to subscribe at Simon Trains and feel free to leave a comment down below we're looking forward to hearing your comment this block has been terminated at Blackpool Pleasure well the beaches of Blackpool with North Pier thank you for traveling with Simon Trains and we'll see you Thursday for the return journey from Blackpool North to Rushi Town thank you for watching stay safe On the platform, use the footbridge and then they leave the station, but there is a gate on this platform as well. So, I'm going to try and kick that gate now.